Yo, what is going on everybody? Burger Creations back here with another video. Today I'm actually super excited to do this video. It's actually been requested. It's one of the only videos I've ever done that's been requested before. I've actually had a couple comments from this channel and even my old channel to do a video like this. Now in today's video, we're going to be printing vehicles for the game Axis and Allies Miniatures. Now if you don't know what Axis and Allies Miniatures is, Axis and Allies Miniatures is a World War II strategy based tabletop game. So the game is a little similar to a video I did earlier on my channel which was Star Wars Armada. The whole point is to build up an army and verse an opponent and try to out beat him. You can either outbeat him by destroying his entire army or by achieving and winning an objective. Now Axis and Allies Miniatures has been around for so long, I believe they actually discontinued production of the actual miniatures and it used to actually come in like kind of a, like a random surprise pack that you would buy and get five random miniatures and it would range from getting a tank to a transport vehicle, armored car, tank destroyer, a soldier, etc, etc. Now I've actually been a fan of Axis and Allies for a long time starting from the actual regular board game and then eventually moving on to miniatures because I've always just liked to learn about World War II and it was a, actually a pretty big series on my channel Burger Productions. I did a couple videos, some doing unboxing, um, I think one going over my army, another one actually showcasing a battle. And they all did pretty well there and it's just something I've always kept doing since I've gotten it. So in today's video we have three vehicles lined up that we are going to print and see if they will actually work in Axis and Allies. Now what I mean by actually work is if they're the right size and they don't look like we kind of pulled them out of nowhere. It almost looks like it's supposed to be there if it fits in. Now I believe Axis and Allies miniatures is one one hundredth of a scale and I believe the miniatures or the f models that I printed it is also in that same scale. So theoretically this should work to perfection. Now of course I'm getting these models from Thingiverse. They were designed by a guy named M. Bergman and it is thing 3553160 and there's one thing to note is if you'd like to actually download any of these figures or these models they are actually in a zip file and if you've ever done a zip file before it's very easy all you do is download the zip file extract the stuff inside of it and there would be the 3d models to actually go put into Kira and slice it so in today's video we are printing three different types of vehicle the first vehicle is an American Sherman Firefly tank the second vehicle is a Mercedes L4500 transport vehicle but um, and the last vehicle is a German SD KFZ 234 armored car now if you're wondering why it's such a random list it's because it was random actually the only tank that I actually specifically picked was the Sherman is because I've never actually been able to get a Sherman in the Axis and Allies packs so I always wanted to have a Sherman so I decided I can now print it. The other two vehicles I completely randomized by just flicking my mouse up and down and stopping at a random point. I didn't realize there were two German vehicles. It is both a German Mercedes 4500 and a German S SDFKZ? Something like that. And both a German armored car. Now these three vehicles look absolutely amazing online. It does say this print is an expert only so hopefully we don't have too much of a trouble. I am printing all the vehicles on an angle that way the supports kind of go right underneath in the treads or in the wheels and then I'm printing the, the actual turrets for the armored car and the tank straight up. So without further ado, let's get these printers on. Let's go check out my brand new Octolabs that I connect and let's get 3D printing.
All right guys, so the paint is finally finished drying up and I have to say these things came out pretty damn cool. So on the left we do have our armored car. It is so far the, my favorite one. We will take a closer look at it, but this is just a broad view between the three. The Sherman tank, I don't love the green that I had. I mean this was the only green I kind of had in my paint collection. And as you can see in the front, it, it got very blotchy. The paint reacted to the print very weirdly the tank itself the print is absolutely gorgeous but sadly the paint does not do it justice but it's still you know it does the job i guess and the last one is our german transport truck i tried to do a little bit of a camera design right now you can't see on the light we'll take a little bit closer of a look at it but i mean it definitely looks kind of cool it's not exactly how i pictured it in my head but it's definitely it, it does again it does the trick i have to say the armored car is definitely my favorite but let's take a closer look at all of these all right so the first one i want to take a closer look at is the armored car because it is my absolute favorite and it came out amazing so i did just do an actual silver but it came out almost like the german gray now there's a couple errors on the printing. I believe it's the filament that I was using. It's a little old as you can see right there on the back of the turret. And there's a little bit on the front. But for the most part, this print got spared from the poor filament. While the other ones we'll see is a little bit did not. Now the tires I think came out really cool. Just It's a matte black paint and I think it really helps pop out of the gray. And then you see the German cross right there. The this side is definitely the better cross than this side, as you can you can see. It's a little bit more sadder on this side, so we'll keep it on this side for the camera views. Also, I messed up a little bit on the location. This one is a little bit far forward, while this German cross is a little bit to the back. I think overall, though, I have not compared this to the actual Axis and Allies vehicles yet, but I think. This is going to look almost like it came out of the package. And it's just definitely one of my favorite. Almost, I almost want to do it blown up. This was the most pain to actually take apart. As you see at the bottom, there are supports all throughout here. But it definitely came out the nicest. Alright, so next up we do have the Sherman, the US Sherman Firefly tank. And this tank, the print is actually, honestly, absolutely amazing. Now the paint definitely looks a lot worse on camera than it does with my own eyes, but it is blotchy right on the front. Um, I was going to try to paint the US Star right in the front, but I got the barrel kind of stuck in there already and it would have been hard enough and I thought I would have just ruined it. So I did just stick to the Star on this side and that side. I think overall, the, the paint job, although the green is not the best green, it, it still looks pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I did the, the black tracks. I probably next time would do this all black instead of having the black over the green. But, I mean, it came out pretty darn good, in my opinion. And the print, again, there's so many little details on this thing. I mean, you can look on the back. If you really want to get uh, detailed with the paint job, you really can with all the tools. I mean, there's a shovel right there, an axe all put into this print and this was one of the easier ones that so you can even blow this up or keep it this size for the war game and honestly it just looks great uh the barrel not it the barrel did not come out the best on my printer but i knew i know my printer struggles on straight barrels like this but it did come out overall and again i think this firefly although the paint job isn't amazing it still came out pretty cool Last up here, we got the Mercedes, the German Mercedes L4500, and this thing came out pretty, pretty good. I did chip out uh, by accident when removing the sports, the left side here. So as you see, there's a right light, but not a left light. Uh, the camo, I mean, it's not, definitely not my favorite. I definitely, I think, rushed to it just a little too much, but I mean, it definitely does the job, and I think... I could have done better, but I think overall it still looks pretty cool. Like right here, you can see it got very blotchy, kind of overlapped one another versus this side. But I think, again, overall it came out really good. And compared from my memory of the other Axis and Allies actual miniatures, these guys should line up pretty darn closely. I did go with a tan cab and a gray backing with the green stripes because I literally found a German transport online that did this exact pattern so I thought no better way. 
Now the bottom of this, I did a sloppy paint job, but I didn't really worry too much at the bottom because it's going to be sitting like this. You know, if you're looking at the top, you really want to see the bottom. But as you can see, the bottom is actually really well detailed. I mean, I am surprised on how much effort they have put into this bottom. You see, the, it's two axles. You got the pipelines and the electrical cables running all throughout the bottom, and it's just a really nice, really great detailed model. The the 3D designer who did this all really put in a lot of effort and I have to commend them for amazing models. So without further ado, let's go take these and compare them next to some actual Axis, official Axis and Allied miniatures and see how our 3D printed ones match up. Alright, so the first two we have compared up is going to be our 3D printed Sherman next to uh, the uh, Axis is official, this is a Guardis T34 slash 76 tank. Now right off the bat, you definitely can tell there's a major difference between these 3D prints and it is because of the paint job. So if you guys are a better painter than me, this shouldn't be a problem for you because you probably would make it actually more like the miniature itself than this almost looks like the army, the army, the tank from the little plastic army men. But overall, the 3D print pretty much matches up exactly how it's supposed to. So the Sherman matches up pretty much the same exact length to the Guardis T34, and is a little bit taller, which it's supposed to be, because that was the design of the Sherman. The details on these two prints are very similar, actually, to the point where if this had a professional paint shop probably like that, it would look like it could it came from Axis and Allies. The biggest difference between these two is that our tank is heavier than the other tank. And this is because this tank has an empty hollow bottom while our tank has a full infill bottom. But overall, minus the paint job, these two tanks look honestly pretty darn close to one another and definitely could be used in a game together. Now our next two is going to be our 3D printed armored car and we are comparing it against a German SDKFZ 231. So 231 versus 234. So it's a slightly different armored car but on the left is the official Axis and Allies one and on the right is our official 3D printed one and honestly these things are so close and identical. It's actually incredible. So right here on the back on the side, we see they have the cross nice and small up here. While this tank itself, our armored car itself, has a cross right up there. I'd say the biggest difference between these two is that this, uh, the official one does not have black wheels. They did just solid gray wheels. While ours has black wheels, and I have to be honest, I prefer the black wheels to the non-black wheels because it helps make the armored car, in my opinion, come to life just a little bit more. Now, the size comparison for these guys is they are pretty much identical in length. Now, the SDR3 printed one, the 234, is a little bit taller and has a longer cannon, but that's because it was a newer and different car. Now overall, this one I am super, super impressed with, and to be honest, if just a little bit different, maybe a wash on this print, and really, if this was in the game, and you didn't even, would even think about it, you might not even realize that this is not an official Axis and Allies piece. Now, similar to the tank, the similarity, this guy, our 3D print is a little heavier because it is solid, while the official Axis and Allies one is a little lighter because it is hollow underneath. Last but not least, we do have our 3D printed German transport vehicle and we're comparing it against an American transport vehicle because I actually don't have any Axis uh, transport trucks like this. I only have the half tracks. And I have to say, again, it looks pretty similar. So now obviously these two molds are going to be different in a bunch of ways. Obviously this is Allies, this is Axis, this is a larger truck with the wider bed, while this is a more of a front cab and a smaller bed in the back. This truck kind of has a lower canopy for more cargo, while this guy has more of a room for soldiers. So you definitely see those differences, but again, if the paint maybe a little bit of a wash uh, fix up the stripes, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Now the main difference I would say again between this the official Axis and Allies and our Axis and Allies 3D printed miniature is that ours comes in very different amount of colors. While these, or they typically use the same of colors for the actual print, besides some of the special ones and the rail ones. 
in terms of length they're just about the same r 3d printed one is a tad bit longer as you can see right here but that could actually just be the nature of the truck itself now our cab does sit up a little bit higher and it looks a little bit bigger than the axis and allies one which could cause some problems i can't tell if that's just because this is the type of truck it is or it's because our miniature is just slightly above scale of this axis and allies miniature but overall i mean if these two were across the map a little different painting i mean it really would look again like it belongs in the game and it doesn't so stick out like a thor thumb i think this is a great alternative to instead of paying the ridiculously high price price for packs now because they're not making them anymore guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you want to see more like this leave a comment down below and if you want to see a specific world war ii tank made even if, if you want to make on a bigger scale make sure you leave that down in the comments below too i think overall these print project was a huge success and it really does fit in with the actual game especially from a top down overview or just a little bit further away and i think honestly this is a better alternative and to getting more vehicles if you want to rather than spending the money on the really expensive packs which is I think like 30 or 25 to 30 dollars for just five vehicles you can make this for a couple cents again I hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like on this video if you are new here make sure you subscribe join the family join the fun along the way check out my Instagram I post updates and just different content on there for you guys to enjoy and yeah that's been it guys peace